Hello guys, it's Matt Norby here and today is back day. One of my favourite body parts to train and today we're going to be setting a new personal best. Um, my last personal best for conventional deadlift was 273.5 so I'm going to be aiming upwards of that. Um, the last few weeks, especially on this bulking phase, um, calories and course has been high um, and we've been focusing on really overloading the weight on our trap bar deadlifts, on our block pulls um, and deficit deadlifts so technically we should be stronger um, pulling from the floor today um, not on assistance as well, just chalk on the hands, on the belt um, hopefully it's going to be a good um, PB I'm aiming for 280 if I get that I'll be really happy so got a good few meals in me this morning and going to hit the gym in the next 30 minutes see you there
got literally got 15 minutes to get something to eat. Um, this is for the people who say, oh, I don't really have time, I've nothing prepared. Look how quick this is. So you should already have, if you're prepping a little bit, chicken already cooked. Pop it on here. Get some rice. What have we got? Sweet chili and lime. So literally, let's set that there. Literally get a rice, a chicken. Pop it into the microwave. Oh, not too bad. All we, we need is some sauce. I'm addicted to barbecue, so that'll do. Finish it off, some sauce, don't count, I don't actually ever count my uh, calories from sauce because I'm only using literally just that much, I've never counted it even during prep so there's no point starting now, because um, people ask me all the time, oh what's all, I'm eating chicken, rice and it's so dry and plain, does that look dry and plain, with the exception of greens because um, I don't want to get too big and I don't eat greens so this is a typical meal uh, on the go for me. Just I'll literally throw this in the meat, couple of minutes, and boom, back to the gym. The lifts didn't go according to plan, but hey, we still had a good session. We were that close to getting uh, both of us getting PBs, like two seven five. I got them in knee twice. One with the I'm going to make an excuse and say that the power bar threw us off a little bit today. Um, it was just the fact that the power bar is so rigid and it's got no give in it whatsoever compared to a standard bar. Um, we've been dealing with standard bars for the past few months, so for some reason we just grabbed the power bar today and decided to, to try it. Um, and it is a little, little bit different. Um, I'm not making too many excuses apart from that. You know, on the day sometimes, sometimes you're feeling strong, but on the day it just you just fail a lot. But hey, I'm putting the fail on there because. It's all part of lifting, you know, at the same time, if you don't fail sometimes and you're not pushing yourself to that absolute limit, then are you really training that hard? So definitely disappointed with not getting it, but at the same time, it's something to build upon and it's a goal to get within the next few weeks. I got it that close to my knee, so I know the strength's there. And again, I just want to say thank you for watching my clip today and uh, hopefully it's inspiring some of you and motivating you to get back into the gym again and um and maybe even trying some of these exercises out in your own sessions as well um thank you so much and i'll speak to you soon